So I started working on this video back in April, but then this happened. Luckily, I got all that fixed so I can finally get back to some sense of normality. Anyway, you read the title of the video, so here's what you need. You will need Blender, the source.io add-on for Blender, SFM for downloading workshop files, and the file browser Everything by Void Tools. Links to all of these will be down in the description. First, download SFM. This one takes the longest and it can be done in the background, so we're starting this first. Next, download Blender if you don't already have it. This can be done from Steam, but if you're already downloading SFM, use either the official download or the third-party Blender launcher. Then, open Blender. I'm using Blender version 4.1.1 for this video, but this should work in any future versions. Hold it! Then install the source.io add-on and enable it. At this point, SFM should still be downloading since the program is 10 gigabytes, so grab yourself a snack or some water and subscribe to the channel while you wait. Now that SFM has finally finished downloading, launch it just to make sure everything is set up properly. Next, close SFM and open the source SDK editor. Click edit search paths and make sure Workshop is enabled. After that's all set up, click the Workshop tab. This takes you to SFM's Workshop page. If you don't see anything you want on the home page, you can search for it up here. For this tutorial, I'll be importing this fan-made Pomni model and rig by these people right here. To download it, just click the big green subscribe button up here. If there are any needed dependencies, a pop-up will appear telling you what you need. You're going to want to download those as well. Now stay on this page because we'll need it later. Next, open SFM again and wait for the model to download. If you get a text or conflict error, click whatever option works for your use case. You'll know the model is finished downloading once the All Files Downloaded from the Steam Workshop page pops up. Next, close SFM again. Don't worry, this is the last time you should have to open it for this tutorial. Now we can get to the real fun stuff. Open the Everything app. While everything is indexing your files, go back to the workshop page of the item you downloaded and scroll down until you see what looks like a file path. Copy the part of the path that ends in .mdl. In this case, it's simply omni.mdl. Then paste that into Everything's search bar. Right click on the MDL file that shows up and click Open Path. This will open up File Explorer. Copy the file path at the top of that window. Next, go back into Blender and go to File, Import, Source Engine Assets, Gold Source slash Source Model. Next, paste the file path into the file browser at the top and click on the MDL file you want to import. And you're done. Oh yeah, when you import a model, its textures might be broken. Don't worry, it's an easy, ish fix. You just need to search for one of the correctly imported texture names in everything. To do that, find a material with a properly imported texture and copy the name of the file that the image texture node uses. Then import the VTF file of the broken material and then set it up like you would any other normal material in Blender. Now that that's fixed, you can tweak the model to your liking, such as giving the rig proper controls, changing the materials, etc. Make sure you save so you don't lose any of your hard work. So yeah, this is basically how I've been able to get a majority of the 3D models for Pokemix working over the past year. Well, this and the model's resource, but that's a whole other video in and of itself. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. Make sure you do all the YouTube things, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye!